Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Zamora. And today we're going to be talking about how to stay in your positive when you're faced with so many negatives, so many downfalls. Things are just coming at you back to back. You don't know what to do. You're praying. You're trying to stay in your positive lane, but so much negativity is just like you keep going over speed bumps after speed bump after speed bumps and you feel like life won't let up. What do you do in those types of situations? You know, I feel like with me personally speaking from experience, you just got to breathe. You got to pray. You got to stay in faith. You have to stay in your Bible. You have to stay surrounded around the right things, the right people, the right music, the right uplifting spirits. You know, you cannot be around any and everybody when you're going through those sensitive moments, you know. Hell, sometimes we're born into a toxic family or you're around toxic people and you cannot control that all the time. Or sometimes you have to go through that rough patch to get to where you're going. You know, the seed, it has to go through the dirt. You know, it has to grow. There are steps. So it's not always going to be smooth sailing. It's not always going to be... Uh, peachy cream sometimes it's going to be uncomfortable it's going to be annoying it's going to be distractions but what you're not going to do don't let that get to you let it roll off your shoulders. Who, um, what song is that? You gotta get that dirt off your shoulders. Mm 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 mm. Hey, hey. You like y'all can't lie, child. Let me tell y'all. <laughs> and that's another thing. Stop being so serious. Like sometimes it's like you, you mad. You walk around mad. You upset, baby. That's not gonna make your situation no better. If anything's gonna make your situation worse, cause you're going through it. And not only are you going through it, but you actually wearing. You're wearing your situations on you. Like, baby, y'all don't know what I'm going through. Y'all probably think I'm living my best life. I'm good. And I'm not, I'm, I have to be real with y'all. Like, I'm not right now. And it's so much that I'm not able to do at this current moment. And it come from things that were out of my control. But guess what? They were out of my control. So I'm not stressing about it. I'm praying about it. I'm manifesting about it. I'm staying in my positive bubble i'm saying in my lane i'm not like my problems don't have me i don't have my problems and that's what it is um yeah like i don't let stuff get to me and you you can't let stuff get to you either okay because life will take you there like I'm going to give y'all the real deal. Like, the devil will try to take you there. And why he think he laughing and having the last laugh. Baby, not with me. You got to tell him, no, baby. And I just, no, I don't know if y'all ever seen that meme. It's like, Dad, I know the devil. Like, I can't shake or break up or nothing. You can't, ain't, won't, ain't going to happen, ever. You have to know who you are. You have to know who's you are okay baby the devil comes to steal kill and destroy and i rebuke that in the name of jesus like anything any harm to any anything coming your way any situation sent for harm is going to backfire on his end like you gonna be good i'm gonna be good we gonna be good okay Hold on, hold on, because I got to regulate some stuff. And we back just like that. Don't play with me. But it is. So, yeah, y'all. But um, I don't know. This video going to be all over the place. But ultimately, all together, I'm going to give y'all some gems. I'm going to give y'all some tips on how to stay up during your down moments. Period. First of all, you have to go through an isolation mode. 
you cannot be out. You cannot be seen and up and under everybody. Hey, who? Ha no, 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 no. It's not sign for it. So if friends and everybody and their mama calling this and third, tell them no. Tell them folks no. This is time for you. This you're focusing on you. You're focusing on your come up. You're focusing on getting in your line, getting your stuff together. So you can't be answering to everyone. And you can answer, but the answer can't always be yes. That is okay. If they cannot accept that you cannot always rescue them, tell them folks you're rescuing yourself today. Now is your time. We don't have, we cannot always be there for everybody else. First. Now, you can send a prayer for them. You can talk to them. You know, do what you can do, but don't always give yourself the short end of the stick. Because sometimes, some situations in life is going to require all of you. Literally. Like, you ain't got no time to be giving everybody in them 110%. And then you still, you don't have any percent of yourself left over for yourself and your situations and your goals and, and what you got going for you. That's a no. That's a no. And that's going to put you in a hole. It's going to constantly keep you at a standpoint that you may not want to be. Now, if you're in a place in life where you're good and you're content and that's where you're okay with staying right there so you can start pouring into other people's cup, that's fine. But if your cup, if your cup here, you can't share that because you got to keep squeezing lemonade. You got to keep producing. So until your product is full and overflowing that's when you can start to pour into other cups but until then tell them folks no not right now and you don't have to word it in a nasty way you don't have to say it as if oh you're being above and beyond or you just being selfish and and, and don't get me wrong it's okay to be selfish because sometimes you, you're you not going to get anywhere until you do take that selfish moment for yourself. Pour into your cup. Pour a picture. And then start to pour into other people's cup. You know what I'm saying? And also, help those who are helping themselves. If I see you constantly trying to do right or you constantly trying to come up and you just keep, life just keep happening, I got you. But if you want shit handed to you, excuse my French, but I, I, I don't have that for you. I don't have that for you. And so I see you putting all, all your ducks in a row or trying to put all your ducks in a row. And so I see you trying every, every item that you have in your basket and giving it a go, giving it a try. Then until that moment, that's when I can help you. Until then, I'm focusing on me. I'm focusing on this lane and what I got going on. Because at the same time, you could be coming to somebody for help and they could be going through hell. You might not, get, might not even know that. They could be going through something worse than you going through. And you so busy trying to have stuff handed to you or don't want to work for nothing. And you don't even see that this person is literally hanging on by a thread. No, sometimes we do not pour into ourselves and we try to help everybody under the sun but ourselves. That has to stop. By all means, help each other. That's how you get further in life, helping each other. But it has to come to a point where you're ready for that and where you've helped yourself. You didn't educate yourself. You didn't do what you had to do for you and to get to where you're at so that you can pour education to other people and so that you can help other people, whether that be financially, whether that be, you know, putting a roof over their head or putting them on to some information that they didn't know about before. Now that you can always do, you know, it don't take nothing to send over a link or to send over an ebook or, or tag them into, to a person that's plugging real knowledge and putting them on. But Y'all, it's just so much that comes to with staying in your positive, staying in your position, knowing who you are and where you're going. You really have to have tunnel vision. You really have to be focused. And it takes a different level of a mindset to get there. And I'm not saying that you're not able because you are. I am. We are. I'm still growing. I'm pretty sure you're still growing. Like, as long as you're living, you should be growing. Don't ever become stagnant. Don't ever become don't ever settle. Period. If you want to become hell, it don't even matter what you want to become. Whatever kind of see your mind. If you want to become that, do what you can to become that or do something in that field. Like study it. Do what you can do. You know what I'm saying? Just apply yourself. Don't settle. 
Don't settle for it. Say if it's always been four things you want to do. Don't stop at that one. Continue. You never know. Now, if you're fine right there once you start doing it, or say you, you want to give yourself a year or two to do it and to see how you go, do that. But try it. Even if it's just this one thing that you always want to do and you just never, you always in the back of your head like, oh, no, I'm too scared to do it. Do it. You just never know what life has for you if you're too afraid to try. That's why I always say, just try, just try. Like it don't matter. You know how many winners? What they say, a winner is a loser who just kept going until they got that one yes, until they got, you know, to where they were supposed to be. Yes, y'all. Meditation is important. Prayer is important. Staying, having faith, having unwavering faith, knowing that this too shall pass. This is just a moment. This is not. This is not your story. This is just a part of your story. You know, this is not the end. Better is coming. Better is on its way. Yes, y'all. Affirmations. If y'all been watching me for a while, if y'all know, y'all know I'm big on affirmations. Get into the mirror. You don't feel the prettiest today. You haven't been feeling like yourself. Get into the mirror. Whatever it is, say the opposite. Like, if you're feeling down and ugly, say, it. I am having a good day. I'm going to have a good day. Matter of fact, wake up. I don't care if whatever you got to do. You could have one of the busiest days and you could have something, a whole bunch of things on your list that you don't want to do. Guess what? Wake up. Thank God for waking you up. Say your prayers or your daily routine and add into there your affirmations. I am going to have a great day today. I am beautiful. I am happy. I am blessed claim your blessings claim the day that you're going to have speak over your day before you get out of bed before you actually walk out the house or before you start your day claim what type of day you're gonna have claim what type of week you're gonna have claim what type of month you're gonna have you know what i'm saying just stay in your stay in your positive like sometimes you cannot control what's around you but you can control what's in here and it starts with your daily habits it starts with your mindset you know Crawl first, walk later. Do what you can with what you have. And on that note, that's where we're going to end it. Um, yeah, I hope y'all got something from this message. But in a nutshell, that's how to stay up during your down moments. You know, and I didn't say it's going to be easy. It may take months. It may take several months. But you can do it. Um, it takes 21 days to form a habit. 21 days. Try to alter little things here and there. Those little things become the big things. Like, tell yourself three things. I am beautiful. I love me. I am grateful. Say three things, whatever it is. Say those three things daily. Start to do that daily. Add it into your daily routine. Make it a habit. 21 days. Start to do, you want to work out, you want to lose weight. Start doing a little bit here and there. Do your little at home workout, a little good 15 minutes. You can't do 15, do 10. You can't do 10, do 5, do something. You can't do 25 push ups, do 10. You can't do 50 crunches, do 25. Work your way up. But start, focus, and don't let up. But yeah, y'all, on that note, is he checking out? I love y'all. Sending y'all. Wealth, sending y'all health, sending y'all prosperity, sending y'all great lives. And um, yeah, stay in your light. Know who you are. Focus up. You got this. And yeah, y'all, as you checking out, I will check in with y'all later. I love y'all. Comment, like, subscribe.